Yeah, I'm certified meteorologist Brandon Orr. It's going to be a pretty warm day today, right around 91 degrees for high since we're getting some sunny breaks in between any showers and thunderstorms. Not everyone's going to get it coverage at 50%, but those that do, it could come down pretty heavy. And we'll have to watch these storms around areas of high tide since we have the full moon. Our tides are running a lot higher than usual. You add some rain on top of that and it could lead to some flooding. That's what we saw out there in Key Biscayne yesterday. You could see almost a foot of water, at least a half a foot there going down the middle of the roadway. Next high tide is coming up in the night. 9 o'clock hour, a little bit later on tonight, and then we'll have to watch tomorrow morning's high tide, which is in that 10 a.m. hour. That's where we could see it a little bit higher than what we see tonight. And we'll, of course, watch out for any storms that develop around those hours as well. We are locked into the storm zone into the weekend, so it doesn't look like a complete washout, but we have enough moisture for heavy downpours at any point this weekend. The feature I'm watching, though, is up here towards New York City. It's been giving them some flooding. They saw several inches of rain so far today. That upper area of low pressure will drag some drier air down the state of Florida and will reach us here in South Florida, but not until we get towards late Monday and through the middle of next week, and it should sit here for a little while. So this is a break from those heavy downpours. Instead, we're just looking at a few lighter showers off the water every so often. That's what that 30% is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We don't have that flooding threat like we do the next few days, and we trim a few degrees off our temperatures. Find updates anytime over on local local10.com. You can take us with you too with our free weather authority app. Have a good Friday.